Hello students, welcome back to our channel If you are learning with Pidya. In today's class, let us learn about fractions. First, let us understand what is fraction. Fraction means a part of a whole, which means, for example, you have a butterfruit, one whole butterfruit that you are sharing with your friend. Half of the piece you are sharing with your friend. Then each part of the butterfruit is called as fraction. Fraction is written in the form of numerator and denominator means denominator means total number of equal parts you divided the one whole butterfruit fruit into two equal parts yes so denominator will be two you divided one whole butterfruit into Two equal parts. You are sharing with your friend. So, denominator will be 2. Total number of equal parts is 2. And what is the numerator? The number of equal parts considered. How much part did you get? One part. Yes. Out of two parts, you got one part of it. Yes. That means you have got 1 by 2. 2 means out of 2 parts you have got 1 part. So, number of equal parts considered is numerator and number of total number of equal parts is denominator. When something is divided into 2 equal parts like for example 1 Butterfruit is divided into two parts. Yes. Then each part is called as half. Yes. When it is joined together, two half joined together becomes one whole. Yes. So two parts and one part make half. Yes, one by two parts make a whole. So, this becomes half and this is half. So, when both are joined, this becomes one whole. So, it is written as one by two plus one by two. One by two and one by two make one whole. Yes. So half is written as 1 by 2. Out of two parts, one part is being considered. Yes. This is 1 by 2 and this is 1 by 2. When 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is added, it becomes one whole. When one whole is cut into three equal parts, then each part is called as one third. One third. One third means this is one part of three parts. This is one part of three parts. This is one part of three parts. So each part is 1 by 3. 1 part out of 3 parts. Yes. 1 part out of 3 parts. 1 part out of 3 parts. Yes. So when whole is divided into 3 parts, each part is called as 1 third. Yes. When all the 1, one third, 1 third, 1 third is added, it becomes 1 Whole. When you join one third part, one third part and one third part, it becomes 
one whole. Yes, one third is written as one by three. Out of three parts, one one part is considered. Yes, see here one part is considered. Here one part is considered. Here one part is considered. Out of three equal parts. Yes. Here one whole butter fruit is divided into four equal parts. Then each part is called as one fourth or quarter. Yes, there are four equal parts. Yes. So one butter fruit is being cut into four equal parts, and each part becomes. One by four. One part out of four parts. 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 Yes. So four times one by four becomes one whole. So one fourth is written as one by four. Here. Four is the denominator. One is the numerator. You know what is the numerator and denominator, right? Denominator means the number of total parts is denominator, and numerator means the number of parts considered. Yes, here we are considering only one part, so only it is written as one by four. Next. We are considering only one part here, so it is written as one by four. So one part is considered out of four equal parts. So each part is called as fraction. Yes, each part is one fourth of one whole. Now, can you answer what? Write the fraction for. Shaded part. Yes, it is one by four because out of four equal parts, one, two, three, four. Out of four equal parts, only one part is being considered. Yes, is being colored. So, what is the fraction of the shaded part? It is one part out of Four equal parts, so it will be written as one by four. Yes. Next, write the fraction for shaded part. How many parts are here? One, two, three, four. Four equal parts are there. Out of four equal parts, one, two, three parts are considered. So four will be the denominator, total number of parts. And how many parts are considered? Three parts are considered. Yes. So three will be the numerator. So we will write as three by four. Out of four parts, three parts are considered. Next, equivalent fraction. What is equivalent fraction? Fractions which represent same portion of whole are called equivalent fractions. Now you can see here one square box is there. Out of one square box, only half is considered. Yes, half is considered. It is one by two. Out of two parts, one part is considered. Correct. Here, can you see the same square box, but it's been divided into four equal parts. So four equal parts means it will be the denominator. Yes, and two parts are considered. Yes, it is written as two by four. Now here in this square, it is being divided into six equal parts, and three parts are considered. But The whole is same. Only the 
fraction is different. Is or no? So out of one whole, yes, it is being divided into two equal parts and one part is considered, yes. And here out of one whole square, four parts, it is divided into four parts and two parts are considered. Means if you get one part here also is the same and if you get two parts here is also same and if you get three parts means also same part. Yes, the same part you will be getting. Yes. And this is called equivalent fraction. Means one more example we'll see. You have one chocolate. Okay. You have one chocolate. You will make it into two parts. Okay. So you will get one part and one more part you will give it to your friend. Which means you've got one part out of Two equal parts. Yes, the same way, the same chocolate, same chocolate, you will make it as four parts. Okay, four parts, you will take two parts and you will give it to your friend two parts. Same length chocolate. So, which means you are getting two parts out of four parts. Now, can you tell me, is 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 is same? Yes, because here also, when it was divided as two parts, you got half parts. Yes, now here, when it is divided into four parts, then also you are getting half only. So, that means 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 are equivalent fractions. Means same. Yes. Making equivalent fraction. How can we make equivalent fraction? Yes, equivalent fraction can be made by multiplying or dividing numerator and denominator by the same number. Here, 1 by 2. Yes, we are multiplying 1 with 2, also 2 with 2. Why? To get the equivalent fraction. Now, what is 1 by 2 means? Out of 2 pieces, yes, out of 2 pieces, you are getting 1 part of it, yes. So, it will become 1 by 2, yes. Out of 2 pieces, you are getting 1 piece. What if you multiply with the same number? You will get 2 by 4. We we'll consider the same chocolate. Yes, it's been divided into four equal parts. Yes, and you will be getting two parts out of it. Yes, that means you're getting two parts out of four parts. See here, when we multiplied one into 2, we got 2 parts. Again, 2 into 2 got 4. So, 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 is the same. Here also you are getting same part. Here also you are getting same part. Only thing is, the fraction is different here. And 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 are equivalent fraction means same. So, we can find out by multiplying with the same number. You can't write different number here in the numerator place and you can't write different number here in the denominator place and multiply. You will get different answer that will that cannot be equivalent fraction. Both the sides it has to be same number and when you multiply with the same number, you will get the equivalent fraction. See here, 4 by 8. 
yes we are multiplying with again 2 so what is 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 16 now how can we say that 4 by 8 and 8 by 16 are equal in fraction mean same c uh again we can see the one chocolate bar it will have eight pieces 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight yes out of eight pieces you will be getting four pieces 1 2 3 4 yes you got four pieces now again we have same size of chocolate bar here it is divided into 16 parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 and 16 it is divided into 16 parts it is made into 16 parts out of 16 parts you will be getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 parts means half of it Yes. So here, four by eight is also same as eight by sixteen. Can you tell me the equivalent fraction for four by eight? Yes. It could also be two by four. Yes. one more example 2 by 5 out of 5 parts you have got two parts yes when you multiply with 5 yes 2 by 2 into 5 equals 10 and 5 into 5 equals 25 out of 25 parts if you are getting 10 parts which means it is equal to 2 by 5 we can also get the equal and fraction by dividing with the same number so here 4 by 8 means out of 8 parts four parts are considered means which is also equal to half is so on out of 8 parts if you are getting four parts which means it is also equal to half yes so when we divide it by 4 yes What is four divided by four? One. And eight divided by four? Yes, two. That means when four is divided by four, you will get one as the numerator, and eight divided by four will be two. So four by eight is also equal to one by four. Out of eight parts, if you are getting four parts, means you are getting half of the shape. we will look at one more example here 9 divided by 8 yes 18 parts are considered out of 18 parts 9 parts are given to you yes out of 18 parts 9 parts are given to you which is also equal to half yes so how can we get the equal and fraction by dividing yes you can see 3 can be uh, 9 can be divided by 3 and also 18 can be divided by 3 yes so what is 9 divided by 3 9 is a 9 so 3 what is 18 divided by 3 3 is a 18 so 6 yes So three by six. Out of six pieces, if three pieces are given to you, that means half part is given to you. That means 
9 by 18 is also equal to 3 by 6. Yes? Like fractions. What are like fractions? Fractions with the same denominator are called like fractions. If the denominators are same, then it is called as like fraction. The numerator may be different. Yes, if the denominators are same, then it is called as like fraction. What is unlike fraction? When the denominators are different. It is called as unlike fraction. Here it is 7, here it is 5, again 7, 8. It's all different, yes? So if one number is different also, here 7 and 7 is same. If it was 7 here also and here it is 8 means it is unlike fraction. It is not called as like fraction. It is called as unlike fraction. When the denominators are different, it is called as unlike fraction. Comparing like fractions. To compare like fractions, compare the numerator. Denominator will be same. So you need not look at the denominator when it is like fraction. Just compare between the numerator. Here it is 2 and here it is 5. We know that 5 is greater than 2. So we will write the greater sign as 2 by 7 is lesser than two by, uh, 5 by 7. When it is like fraction, you need not have to look at denominator. You will only compare the numerators. Here, we will compare the fractions and arrange it in descending order. What is descending order? From the greatest to smallest. As it is like fraction, the denominator will be same and you need not have to worry about the denominator. You have to just compare the numerator. Here it is 2, 1, 6, 3. Yes? So, the greatest number is 6. So, first we will consider 6 by 6. Yes? Next. 2, 1, 3. This is greatest 3. So the next fraction will be 3 by 6. And when you compare 2 and 1, 2 is greater than 1. So next fraction will be 2 by 6. And the smallest fraction is 1 by 6. This is how we arrange the like fractions in descending order. Next, arrange the like fraction in ascending order. What is ascending order? Yes, arranging the numbers from smallest to greatest. Now, when you look at these fractions, it's all the denominators are same, which means it is like fraction. We need not have to worry about the denominator. You should only consider the numerator. Yes? Which is the smallest numerator here? Yes. 1. So, the smallest fraction is 1 by 10. Next, 4, 2, 8. Which is smallest? Yes. 2 by 10. Right? It in the second place. Now, when you compare 4 and 8, eight 4 is smaller than 8. So, next, 4 by 10 will be eaten. And the last and the greatest is 8. So, will be written as last. Which means, we have arranged the fractions from the smallest to greatest. This is how we arrange the like fraction in descending order. Now, why do we compare like fractions? Yes, to know who has got more and who has got less. For example, see here, 10, 10, 10, 10 means there is a chocolate of 10 pieces. Okay, it is same, denominator is same. So, there is a chocolate of 10 pieces. 
four chocolates are there. How many chocolates are there? Ten ten pieces. Four chocolates are there. One, two, three, four chocolates are there. Out of four chocolates, in the first, out of ten pieces, the one will get. The first one will get only one part. Second one will get two parts, four parts. Third one will get two parts, and the fourth one will get eight parts. Means who is getting more? Yeah, the one with the eight parts. Yes, who is getting least? Very less. Yes, one with the one part. Correct. So when the denominators are same, you will only consider the numerator all are getting uh, same equal number of parts but out of those parts how much part will be considered you have to look at we got to know how to compare the like fractions when the denominators are same when the total number of portions are same it is easy to compare what if the total number of portion is different yes Here it is six, and here it is eight. So out of uh, uh, eight pieces, one has got four pieces. Here, out of six pieces, one has got two pieces. So how can you say who has got more? Yes, that time you will use the cross multiplication method. Yes, you will multiply two with eight and four with six. What is two eights? Yes, two eights is Sixteen and four sixa four sixa is twenty four. So we know twenty four is greater than sixteen. So here we can say two by six is lesser than four by eight, and four by eight is greater than two by six. Look at one more example here. Five by seven and Six by eight. How do we compare this? Out of eight pieces, one has got six pieces, and out of seven pieces, one has got five pieces. How can we say that who has got more or less? Yes, through cross multiplication method. Yes, we'll multiply five into eight and six into seven. So five eight za is forty, and six seven za is forty-two. So we know forty-two is greater than forty. So we can say. Five by seven is lesser than six by eight. This is how we compare the unlike fractions through cross multiplication methods.